Welcome back to Angie's Table. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make three different side dishes. We have done a side dish video before, so this is our second one. And today we're gonna be making potato salad. I love when I go to restaurants and they have this because it's really good to just pick on before the actual meal comes in. We are also making a pickled jalapeno. I love it when my grandma makes some and she gives it to me. It's the best panchan in the summertime because it's so refreshing and pickly. I asked her for her secret and it was so easy. I was like, oh, that's it? And she's like, yep. That's it, just like four ingredients. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make that and we're also gonna learn how to make ojingoche or sometimes it's called chimiche. And this is what I made in a video when I was making panchan at home. So let's go and check out these ingredients. So right now we're gonna be working on our jalapeno panchan. So I'm using actual this is not jalapeno, Korean green chilies. My grandma grew these in her backyard, so she gave me literally like this much of it. I love going to see my grandma because she's always like, oh my God, I have a zucchini for you. You know, she's always giving me things, so I love it. So we're gonna be using this, but she says you can use either or jalapenos or um, these Korean chilies. And the only thing she said was with the jalapenos, make sure you de-seed it inside because I think it becomes like too much. So that's the only thing if you guys are using jalapenos. A little bigger. So I told you guys the sauce was really easy. It's three ingredients. It's a one to one to one ratio of vinegar, soy sauce, and sugar. My grandma did tell me though that depending on the person, they can think it's a little sweet. I'm usually one of those people. So I did decrease the sugar by a little bit, but I would say with the sugar, you guys can adjust it. So it's one cup max and a little less if you don't like it too sweet. Let's add in our sugar. Soy sauce. And lastly, vinegar. I'll give this a mix. The sugar will slowly dissolve with time, so you don't have to make sure that it's all dissolved right now. Let's add in our jalapenos. Those aren't jalapenos. Oh, whoops. Our, our uh, green chili. Pour in the sauce. And that's it. You keep it in the fridge for a couple days before you eat it. So you guys can really tell the difference in color. This is not ready to eat and this is ready to eat. When we go to a Korean restaurant and they either have potato salad or like something with corn, I literally just go ham. And we're like, oh, can we get more like right away? So we're gonna learn how to make potato salad. I don't think normal Korean households usually have potato salad as panchan, but I like it when I go to a restaurant and they have it, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to make that. We're gonna peel our potatoes and carrots. And I have some water boiling in the back so that we can boil our potatoes and eggs. So let's cut this up so it cooks a little faster. Now we're gonna boil the potatoes and our eggs. While that's cooking in the back, let's cut up our apples and carrots. So we can do rough pieces on this. And I will not use a full carrot because I don't really like carrots. <laughs> For some color, you could add cucumbers. I don't really love cucumbers in there because I feel like the texture isn't crunchy and it's more soft. So I feel like it kind of doesn't match. Roughly cut this up. Even the potatoes, they can be slightly mashed too. Add these in. Let's 
add in our sugar, salt, and our mayonnaise. Give it a mix and we are done. Do you guys know what it's time for? Today's word of the day is ojinga, which means squid. The panchan we will be working on next is ojinga, so I, I thought, okay, we can use this. Um, next week, we'll have the word of the day be, it's a secret, but um, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. But I can't say it. I'm trying oh. to think. Ojinga and the word that I will be introducing you guys to next week. So for today, the word of the day is ojinga, which means squid. With the ojinga, make sure that when you buy this, you're gonna dunk it in some water and kind of let it soak the water in. The water will help soften the ojinga because it could be a little hard or tough to chew. And then we're gonna strain it and keep it here while we make the sauce. So the fire is off now. We're gonna throw in all our sauce ingredients in. Sugar. Red pepper flakes, sesame oil, oligosaccharide, gochujang. Secret tip is mayo. When I made the ojinga for the first time, Grace was like, yours is not gonna be better than mom's. And I was like, oh, just you wait. And she's like, oh, this is so good. I think it was because of the texture, because mom's is like- It oh. hardens after couple days. It does, but her sauce is on point. But like her sauce is hard to Yours is good. Yes, so you guys are getting the exact recipe that I use. Now I'll turn the heat on to a medium low. Give this a mix. And once this sauce comes to a boil, we're gonna add in our squid. And turn the heat to a low. Add in our sesame seeds. And we're ready to eat. Okay, let's eat. Mmm. Well, the carrot's actually pretty good in here. Oh, I want to try the carrot. Mm. Although, my favorite, I think. It's the egg and the apple. Oh, the apple. Right? Yeah. It brings a lot of sweetness out. Mm-hmm. Mm. So next is ojinga? Yeah. Here, I'll it's give it to you. Oh. I want this one with rice. Mmm. Okay. It's really good. Wow. The sauce is addicting. That's really good. Mmm. It's got a nice kick. Mm-hmm. Mmm. This I already know what it tastes like. Mm. Thank you. Mmm. I need to take a bite of this. This is like too much. So good. Mmm. It's not that spicy. It's really not. So good. I feel like you don't even need like an entree with this. If you had tsugujori with this, oh my oh god. My I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and try these out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below and we'll see you guys on our next video.